Hey guys, hope everything is going well. You guys know that drill. Smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and comment down below. Follow me on Instagram at AIH underscore sports. Follow me on my finance channel at AIH Finance. Okay, so a few things. Uh, I was seeing these Instagram stories yesterday, and people were like, hey man, like all of these companies that were doing well during the pandemic, they got all this monopoly money, right? They got PPP loans, which was basically used to help with payroll during the pandemic. You have to remember a lot of things were shut down and thus many people had to lay off individuals, some contracts couldn't be fulfilled to the extent that they were signed before. So it was pandemonium throughout our economy, as you guys know. While the sports card industry was able to thrive, many businesses, as you know, weren't able to thrive. People lost their jobs. They lost everything. People were losing their minds in 2020. Unfortunately, people lost their lives as well. And people are saying, hey, look, this is not right that all these companies got their payroll loans forgiven. They don't need uh, this money. And I understand that perspective. My perspective though, or my opinion on all of this is maybe a bit different than what other people will say. And if you disagree, that's fine. So I don't wanna to get too much into the politics of this, but I'll say to a certain extent, right? I blame the government for a lot of things that went wrong. Right, you know, cooking up things in Fort Detrick, sending it over overseas, and then whether it was released accidentally on purpose, what, whether it was a fake flag event, what, whatever it was, okay? Hanky Panky went down, and I attribute a lot of blame once again to the government. And the government came in saying, hey, um, some of your businesses are essential while some of your businesses are not essential. We're going to prop up some businesses over others, which I don't think was right as well. Right. The government chose winners and losers. And then they gave out uh, these loans, these PPP loans saying that, hey, look, we understand there's distress in the economy. We're going to try to help alleviate the situation by giving payroll loans. OK, and the PPP program that money was allocated between april 3rd and april 16th of 2020 okay so people were making these applications from my understanding before the hype happened in sports cards now the stock market had bottomed you had m multiple assets had bottomed in march of that year with the federal reserve jamming interest rates to zero that's what I think helped the system out. Whether people like it or not, that's what occurred. And I noticed sports cards started to go crazy uh, during the last documentary or that documentary. And that was April 19th through May 17th of 2020. And I knew something was going on because I we bought cards from four sharp corners in bulk. I think it was like Bo Jackson bulk cards. We bought maybe Chipper Jones cards. We're just buying a lot in bulk. We're thinking, hey, look, prices are depressed. And it took four sharp corners about a month to ship them out because they couldn't even go to their warehouse. I, I think they had res restricted hours. I, I don't know what it was, but I remember emailing them saying, hey, look, um, wh where's our package, right? But that was the craziness during the pandemic. So we were getting these cards. I remember getting Michael Jordan cards as well. These are like 1990 cards. And we, I bought in bulk, by the way. I bought, um, you know, Derek Jeter cards in 2019. We're selling on eBay and I was selling them, you know. It took time to sell, but we eventually sold those rookies. They weren't like the best rookies out there. And I think it was, I forget the number whatever rookie card that I sold of Jeter, we were able to sell in 2019. But 2020, those Jordan 1990 cards, the cards that have high population, PSA 10s, 
I sold it. I still, I swear, within a month, which I was shocked to sell all those cards. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? Why are we able to sell these cards quickly? And then I figure out, oh look, the government's jamming in all this liquidity into the system, and you're giving people stimulus checks. This is why, you know, everything is going nuts. Okay. So, I figured that out. So the PPP loans, by the way, the important part was people apply for them before the documentary. Okay. And some of the companies now segueing into which companies got the loans, right? PWCC got $413,000 and uh, the amount forgiven, they were forgiven that amount plus the interest. Golden auctions, the loan amount was uh, close to $175,000. The loan was forgiven. Uh, 352 Inc., which I believe is Jeff Wilson's company, they got close to $1.1 million. The amount was forgiven. Uh, there's Leaf Trading. They got 224000 That That loan was forgiven. Leighton Sports Cards, they got 75000 and the amount was forgiven. And I think there were some strings attached with the PPP loans. And those loans were forgiven. They were used to pay payroll, and some people were audited just to make sure that those funds were used for payroll. Now, the thing is, people are saying like, hey, look, these companies benefited like crazy during the pandemic and they shouldn't have gotten it in hindsight that's a fair assessment now when people were getting these loans right this was before the hype started to occur now once again i i got stimulus checks and i was blowing it on sports cards and a lot of people here were getting stimulus checks and blowing on sports cards if they were in a financially stable condition. So everyone got funny money to a certain extent. Now, the dilemma is, look, a lot of people that you, know, you may know or you've heard stories, they got laid off. And it's not fair that those companies got, those people had to lose their jobs. Now, what I would say, though, is, yes, people can say that, hey, these companies were wrong for getting that money. But on the other hand, what I would say is that, hey, look, the government created this mess. The government was the one saying that, hey, you're essential and then you're not essential. So, you know, it is what it is. I just wanted to give my own two cents about it. I understand if people disagree with me, but it's just a different not i just have a different opinion i know i may get some pushback on it but at the same time looking back at it these companies probably didn't need the money and some people may defend it saying that hey look these companies were shut down for a particular time some people got the virus it created issues um in shipping out cards it created other it created other hardships as well but ultimately a lot of these guys became multimillionaires. golden sold their cur their firm to psa you had uh, i think some of these other companies make record profits that they've never seen so it makes sense why people will be mad while i'll always tell people that hey look it's a little more complicated than what meets the eye, but that's in my opinion, guys. Anyways, I wanted to hear your own thoughts about this. Once again, guys, remember to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't, comment down below, guys. Thank you. Bye.